Have you ever wondered how you change the levels of your vocals up and down whenever you have music laid under your A roll and your B roll? It's not that hard, but you know you've seen it. You probably don't pay attention to it, but when somebody's talking, that music is just ever so slightly, you know, at a point to where you can hear it. It's not overbearing. It doesn't take away from what you're saying. You don't want it to distract from what you're trying to convey, right? But then you hear it bump up a little bit when those vocals stop. It just adds that little umph to your video. If you clicked on this video, you're probably that's what you want to learn. Well, I want to show you how you can do that. And there's two ways you can do it. One is obviously the old way, which takes a little bit over, you know, a longer video. But I'm also going to show you a way with one click, you're going to see how fast it is that it'll do it for you automatically. And it's like 99% accurate. You may have to tweak it a little bit, but let's jump into Premiere Pro. I'm going to show you how to do it. Get you in, get you out and on your way to making videos a lot faster. All right, so here we are inside of Premiere Pro. Now you can see that I have a, a video here, A roll, B roll, uh, you got your music down here, and then you have some talk tracks right here. So what you wanna do ideally is if you have um, a talking track coming through here, you wanna be able to lower the music and then raise it up whenever you don't have talking. You don't want it loud while somebody else is talking because it's distracting. So how do you do that? Well, there's a couple ways to do it. So if you come in here and you hit P for pin, you have it clicked, and then you're going to make some little points in here, and you're going to do this all the way through this video. Now, you don't have to do it this way. You can do it one at a time, but just to show you, give you an idea of how you could do this is you want this lowered, right? And then you would want this lowered in here, you want these lowered. Now I'm just doing this fast. So um, that way you kind of get an idea of what it would be like. But anyway, nonetheless, this is how you would do it. And you would have to go in and then you would have to tweak it, you know, you would have to tweak it exactly how it needs to sound. So all these are the exact same level and all that kind of stuff. So just to give you an idea, if I was to do this for the video, I would obviously take a lot more time and you would lower these to where it sounds right and raise them to where it sounds good and then kind of tweak these in a little bit so it comes in and out, you know, at the right time where it sounds smooth and it's a nice transition. So I'm going to get back out of this. Okay, so here's the second way you can do this. Now, this is this is a good way. You're going to like this. Now, if you don't already have the music track clicked, make sure you have only that clicked, and that's it. You're going to come over here to where it says Essential Sound. You're going to click on that. You're going to come down to Music, and you'll see that it's grayed out. But the reason why it is, you got to check on this box, and then you'll see all this kind of highlighted, right? And this right here should be highlighted blue, duck against dialog clips. If it's not, just click on it. It's no big deal. And then you're going to come down here, hit generate keyframes, and look how fast that's done. Now, you can also come over here and use these sliders if you need to, to adjust it. But let's just see how close it got, the original, just the first shot, okay? Let's try this out. It's a bunch of plastic. You move them, they slide really good. Uh, I like that. That is a plus. Has to whatever it has a bunch of different. Okay. That is super fast. Now you can do it either way you want to. You do it the first way, you do it the second way. Me personally, auto ducking is simply amazing. So there you go, that is auto ducking. I told you it is fast, it's accurate. And again, you may have to tweak it a little bit to your liking. Not very often that you're gonna have to do that, but I can tell you right now, it will save you time over a long edit. So I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, please hit like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.